Hi there guys, how are you today? My name is Durga Diana. If you don't know already, I'm from Empathic Moon 777 and I am your tarot card reader. I want to welcome you, each and every one of you that are part of our Twin Flame Collective. I have been away for a few days and you know what? Uh, I was called to do a reading and um, here it is. And you know what? Happy full moon lunar eclipse to the Twin Flame Collective out there. Whoever's watching this, um, and also the eclipse season is coming, it's here. And uh, you know what? Take advantage of it because you know this is gonna this is gonna be really good, all right. And uh what's coming through is um it's regarding these eclipses, all right. So we take advantage of these things if you believe in that, I do, and you take advantage of these energies that are gonna clear things that are no longer serving serving you. We had the eleven eleven portal. And a lot of things have been coming up now. And now we're at this time where we're going to release all this junk and crap. And we're going to be, we're going to continue to evolve. We're going to continue to learn about ourselves. We're going to continue to um, see what it is that we need to know at this time. So anyway, that's what I wanted to mention. I love you guys. And if this reading is uh, helping you, make sure you leave a like. If it resonates, leave a like. Um, I really appreciate it. I have a sale, a, a Black Friday sale on the website, 20% off crystals, 20% off tarot and oracle decks. And uh, we have 30% um, uh, off in-depth personal reading. So this is like the best sale that I would have in the year. Take advantage of it. And uh, it's really, really fun. Um, this is a really great time, guys. I'm really feeling the energy today. Um, there has been another reading that came through. It was about boundaries. And um, so it's very interesting. The boundaries came up because we're going to look at Divine Feminine's energy and look at what we have here. Uninhibited and released. So we're going to find out what, what is this about, okay? Um, but uh, there's a video there in the last uh, that I did today relating to boundaries all right and uh, I would nudge you to look at that video because it will help you with your healing journey if you are definitely wondering about boundaries or you're wondering about other people crossing your boundaries or you know if you're thinking about the past boundaries and whatever the whatever it is however way it resonates but there's a really cool message there from spirit because they kept saying boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. And I was like, okay. And then I just decided to say, hey, I got to do a reading. So there's that reading. And now we're going to do the twin flame reading here. So this is a different reading. This here is like, what is shifting? So this is huge because we had the 11-11 and now we're in this eclipses, right? So what is shifting? What is changing for divine masculine, divine feminine? We're going to look at what is happening, what is changing in the connection. Now, that is very important. And what is coming through? Oh, my goodness. I just wanted to dance. And I was like, yes, this is so awesome. But you got to wait until near the end um, to know what this is about. And then we're going to see what the main energies are towards each other. So we're going to get started. <clears throat> so Divine Masculine. This for Divine Masculine, what his reading is about in relation to the shift and what is changing for him, it really has to do about his energy of how much light is coming into his body and how he's shining that light. So it's coming from the heart chakra, all right? There is some kind of light coming in. The light is filling the body, it's filling the mind, it's filling the energy centers. Um, it's really creating a change, all right? This light is um, alchemizing the, the darkness, um, the old patterns, the old ways. And there is an energy of shining the light, the love and expression of that love and light through the heart chakra and shining that into the environment and knowing that, you know, you can do this as a person, as an individual, that, you know, you have the power to do this, all right? So this is what is uh, the reading is about in relation to the change and the shift. So with this shining, there's going to be a belief and succeeding energy, all right? 
So this is going to change. He's going to start to believe in himself that he can go, you know, over the vast ocean, you know, despite, you know, what is, uh, you know, what's going to, what is he going to come across in the ocean? You know, it's, it's, a, it's an energy of through that shining the heart, shining that light and love that wherever that this divine masculine is going to go, he's going to succeed. All right. There is a small boat there. There is the vast ocean but you know what wherever he's going it's going to end up to the light no matter what number six is about that balance so there is a belief intrinsically that yes and there is some kind of intrinsic motivation that yes i am going to believe myself and i'm going to succeed uh wherever that i'm going in my journey uh, through this shining of the light and it's going to happen through this heart chakra okay there has been some type of heart chakra activation for this divine masculine and this is something that is changing right now this is something that is going to shift and this is very very awesome right four is about foundations so remember that light is shining throughout the environment we have this number four is connected to foundations but the heart chakra is the key here. And this heart chakra may be uh, activated or it may be um, integrating um, a higher frequency of being. And uh, it's something that is coming from the heart. And the heart center is what is guiding this believing and succeeding. Now, this could be him uh, believing and succeeding through the heart center, following the heart center, or this is about really acknowledging the heart center, or this is really about this knowing that the heart is the way. It's going to help to guide, all right? And the heart is going to help with this confronting of the shadows, all right? We have the number 18, all right? So it's definitely, uh, I feel like this is about overcoming, overcoming, uh fears there's fears that i'm getting fears um overcoming the fears um believing right instead of feeling like trapped in fear um there is an energy that is kind of liberating this divine masculine to go uh through that vast ocean all right and and not worry about you know what is in the vast ocean because uh, he is, uh, it doesn't have to do with Jenner, he is um, now the one steering that boat. And through that determination, he's going to get there. And this confronting, all right, is, is, is how, um, and through the journey, the confronting of this is, is part of that journey that he's going through, like, um, the shadows. Um, it's about those shadows, it's about those fears, it's about uh, looking at yourself and and seeing the the parts of you that are not so nice the dark parts right the shadow parts the um the things that were um causing fear uh in this masculine here to to confront those things all right so that's what's changing all right so there is some kind of what i get here is some kind of leadership or some kind of like leadership of self leadership of self to uh know that you can go you can he can go he can go um and and that there it 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 depends on him like it, it there's a uh inner strength or inner knowing that it has to do with him like he is the solution he believing himself that's what i'm getting here Wow. Okay, so Divine Feminine, this is what's shifting and changing for the Divine Feminine through all of these uh, energetic uh, changes that are going on right now with these uh, eclipses in the 1111 portal. We have ch challenging times. So this is shifting, okay? This energy of like, you know, the conflict, okay? The, the feeling like there's a struggle, feeling like there's a battle, um feeling uh in the unknown because of these battles and these conflicts and so this could also be connected with the past and there is also an energy of fear connected with these challenging times 
it's also creating a guard all right that guarded energy feeling like you need to fight for oneself perhaps um it's it's and it could be connected about changes like making a change for the future even um so this is what's shifting all right that energy is shifting and uh it's in particular to this energy of feeling alone so feeling like we have two fives here for divine feminine here so feeling alone in the journey or feeling like it's a lonely feeling like you don't have anybody or nobody's there for you or um you know you're there you're there for yourself though you have your light you're there for yourself yeah it's it's dark yes there's a moon yes there's fear yes there's mountains um but you know what there's home right there home is right there it's lit up there you know you're gonna get there all right um there is this energy of feeling alone with this conflict with this challenging times feeling perhaps guarded um when when you're feeling guarded like uh you're you're afraid like it's you're alone i know it's a very challenging energy all right and it's connected to observing all right so there is an energy what's going to shift is this observing energy looking at things in all different directions connected to the divine masculine connected to the challenging times that the two of you had um which is causing you to feel guarded um and which is making you feel alone because when you get into that energy you just don't you just feel like you know how are things going to happen right how how is it that this is this going to change it 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 leaves you feeling trapped all right it leaves you feeling alone and uh, looking at all of these different scenarios and all the different ways how things can occur this is what's going to shift for you divine feminine and that's amazing that's awesome because we have here this energy of giving and receiving so this is what is going to be driving this change for the divine feminine is this energy of this giving of the different soul connections that are around you and receiving from the different soul connections that are around you so this is about uh balance okay you know not putting all your energy into one into one hand perhaps and, and instead who is around you your loved ones the people around you that you they you could help you know it's about um reciprocity um giving from a place of love and uh being able to open to being able to receive and that's from your environment that's from your soul connections that's from your soul tribe um, that's what's uh, going to be shifting for the Divine Feminine. So right on and right on to Divine Masculine. That is awesome. All right. So we're going to look at the main energies for Divine Masculine towards Divine Feminine. Like right now, uh, he's in this energy of memories and remembrance 26. It could be about abundance, right? The abundance that the energy of abundance that Divine uh, Feminine brings he's looking at those energies of the past of the memories of the remembrance all right and um it has to do with the distance so he's feeling like there is some distance uh between the two of you um he may be feeling that there is some kind of retreat or some kind of time out and through that um he's really uh having some thoughts and memories about divine feminine at this time and uh, it could be connected to the abundance that uh, divine feminine brings for the divine <clears throat> divine feminine brings for the divine feminine we have un uninhibited and released so her main energy here okay so these are animals these are not people this is something that is um there's something that is troubling all right and there has to do with some kind of sexual energy passion energy maybe some other people involved in the scenario there's some kind of distorted kind of sexual energy here coming through for the divine feminine and it could be about balancing this energy she could be uh in this energy like looking at this and uh maybe having some type of energy she feels um like lost she feels fragmented and lost and rejected at this time in relation to this. 
So this is what her main energy is at this time. She feels, um, she doesn't feel good. She doesn't feel good. She doesn't feel, um, she doesn't feel good. She doesn't feel good. No, that's all I could say. And it's in connection to this energy here. There's some kind of focus here on this energy that is causing her to feel like there is some kind of rejection and loss. And that's currently what the energy is, her main energy towards Divine Masculine. So that could be connected to that challenging times and that feeling alone as well is what I'm getting there too. But that is cycling out. So um, if this is what's bothering you, you could also release this during the full moon and these eclipses that are coming through at this time. It's a very, very awesome time to be doing that. Um, let's look at the connection now. After these eclipses, what's going to happen in the connection? So I'm going to talk about what this part of the reading is. Uh, clarity, Angel, Metatron, right on. I love that. Uh, clarity. So Archangel Metatron is in charge of the mind. All right. Clear mind, crystal clear vision, crystal clear mind, diamond consciousness. Very, very high vibrational, clear. It's like your pure consciousness. All right. So that pure consciousness is connected to I long for your kisses and your touch. There, this reading is about having clarity about this longing for each other, to feel each other. The, the clarity of the longing to feel each other, um, to be with each other. This, this is what's going to happen after these eclipses. You're going to gain some more clarity. So there is going to be some type of healing. There is going to be some type of new understanding about what this longing energy is longing in connection to being with each other all right that's what's going to happen after these eclipses so with that endings and new beginnings number 10 archangel metatron awesome what is happening so um this in and out energy all right you're going to get clarity about this in and out energy uh where either you or the the, the dm or the df are in and out um, you know, uh, coming in and then getting scared and retreating or, you know, just like this in and out uh, with each other. Um, one day, you know, you want to talk to them and then the other day you want, you hate them or you don't want to talk to them or you don't want anything to do with them. Um, something like that, okay? This, that in and out or trying to, you know, put some kind of energy out there and then, um, maybe you don't get some kind of energy in re in return and then you re retreat. Okay, that, that kind of in and out stuff. So the in and out there, you know, um, it could be from the both of you. Um, but this is for the connection here. The in and out connected to, I want to hold you in my arms and feel uh, our bodies unite as one. Yeah, so it's about being together. Okay, that there's going to be clarity ar about that. All right, so that's what Spirit is saying. You're going to get clarity about this energy, okay? Why is it occurring for you, okay? Why is this manifesting in your life? Perhaps maybe how you can come out of that energy, all right? Uh, what else is going to happen is that there is going to be some type of re release. So Spirit is saying that there is going to be a release. They're going to help to release. This is something spiritual taking place. They're going to help you to release this energy of I'm not going to give in to fear. I know fear is only illusion. So, oh my, can you, oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is awesome. So spirit is going to be helping with the fear, all right, uh, the illusion of fear. Um, and um, it's going to help to... Um, the removing of the fear, the removing of the fear as an illusion, you know, that's what they're going to be helping with. And you're going to know that it, it is an illusion. All right. That's what's going to happen in the connection after these eclipses. It's going to get uh, taken out. This unawakened feminine. All right. There's going to be some type of clarity here. All right. Something that was unawakened within the divine feminine. This unawakened feminine, it has to do with the universe brought us together for a reason. 
I am discovering what these reasons are. So there is going to be some type of clarity as to what was unawakened in the divine feminine about this union, about uh, understanding more about why you guys are coming together. There is going to be some type of clarity in connection to that and why you guys are so like wanting to be with each other. You're going to understand something that was unawakened within you. So you are going to get some kind of new learning, new consciousness awareness about something that was unawakened in you regarding the union, okay, why the two of you were brought together, and also like knowing what those reasons are, okay. The, the fourth one here we have is removing obstacles. So the both of you, I'm going to take a breath here, the both of you here, you guys are going to be actively removing obstacles, okay. So this removing obstacles is going to be about you are my true love, my heart and soul, okay? So in your environments, okay, each of you, divine masculine, divine feminine, in your environments, physical environments, you guys are going to be actively removing obstacles that keep you guys from being apart. After these eclipses, it's going to happen. It's not going to happen overnight, but that's what's going to happen, okay? Okay? This is, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful messages coming through, guys. Because you guys know there's true love there, right? And so it says here, my heart and my soul. All right? So there is that energy of that unconditional love there. So that, I feel, is going to be honored more. So you're honoring yourself and then the, your counterpart is going to honor themselves, you guys are going to honor yourselves, but you guys are like the same. You know what I mean? So that is going to be taking place. And then we have here unawakened masculine. So I like how this is coming out as unawakened because there has been things that are have have been unawakened in divine masculine and divine feminine. And divine masculine here, we have here, I'm trying to understand how my thoughts create my reality. I know I need to stay positive. Are you? So here you go. This is telling me right here, right here, right now, that this clarity of the divine masculine, what was unawakened is that he didn't know how his thoughts can create his reality. He didn't know that. Now he's going to get some type of clarity in connection to that. And now he's going to start to understand more uh, about his mind and how powerful his mind is and how he can transform his thoughts to create his reality because he knows that he needs to stay positive about this connection because the both of you will be removing the obstacles because you are my true love my heart and my soul all right and what was unawakened in the divine feminine you know she's going to now understand more about why the two of you have come together. Why did it happen like this? Why your timelines were set up this way? And uh, spirit is going to be removing the fear and the illusion of fear. And uh, this in and out energy, you're going to get clarity as to why this in and out energy was happening in connection to why you guys wanted each other and it was going back and forth. All right, so that is what's coming through. That's amazing. All right, set your intentions, release, and uh, positive thinking, right? Divine Masculine is going to start to uh, realize that. And uh, removing this rejection and loss with this, um, with this past energy, all right? Cycle it out. You don't need it anymore. It's not serving you. It's giving you challenging times. And you know what? Everything, it's going in the right direction. Everything happens for a reason, guys. We're, we're trusting more uh, after these eclipses. I love you guys and take care. Let me know. Leave a like. Thank you very much. I love you. Take care.